This is the finish spar. This would be the right spar. I just finished the last coat of sanding at about, I think I have 320 or 330 grit. Looks aluminum-y. Oh crap, that was just me. But this is what it looks like. You can see, that's pretty funny. That's the and for the focusing beam from the uh, camera, which is pretty cool. So that's where it's getting its focusing information. Um, let's see, we got some defects. Some of them are fairly consequential. Um, this would have been a, a rib location. Here's another one. Again, I don't know how many times the wing was built, rebuilt, whatever, but it looks like someone was in here a couple times. This right here would be the tip. This is where they had the uh, tie down. So that end, that end would be the root. Root, this would be the tip. So right smack in the dab in the middle of this wing, I got these two fairly, fairly large defects. I didn't measure them, don't know, don't care. I'm gonna have to email the the manufacturer or the plan zone or whatever and ask them what their what their limit on defects is. I mean that's there's some minor surface scratches, nothing nothing out of the ordinary because I just sanded this down. Um I did use aluminum oxide, I didn't use silica carbide so that's not an issue so there's another defect where the rib was I don't know if the ribs were loose and dug in or if someone tried to get in there and cut them off but I'm gonna have to ask I know for the 6061 spars what people have done is they're actually go through and they actually cut out um, three or four inch diameter plugs so this looks like Swiss cheese all the way down so you have the spot where you want your you know your fuel system to be like you know if you want to have three or four bays of fuel and then what they do is they you know they cut with the basically with just a hole saw they just cut lattice structure I mean it's just boop it's a here 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 um, so you can take a lot of weight off of the 6061 by doing that lattice hole lightning mod. There's the whole spar, all 10 feet of it. But this is a 2024 spar, which means it's a bit thinner. Um, actually, no, I, I, I was incorrect. This, let me see. Let me see if I can find a light. Where's a light? Uh, I think this is the, uh, I think this is the, yeah, this is the root. That's the tip. That's what I said. Yeah, this is the root. No, I'm sorry. This is the tip. Because this is where the landing light attached. This is where the L bracket for the landing light attached. So this is the tip. And this is the root which doesn't really change anything in the big scheme of things because those are still right in the middle. So these scratches here, I mean, I know stress risers, blah, 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 you know, but uh, I don't know if filing those out or grinding those out into a taper going to be something that's acceptable or not like I, said, I have to email the manufacturer I mean it definitely catches a nail some of them are fairly like this one here you hear that catches I don't know if that came from my table or what there's nothing underneath the table to make that happen and then there's another one right here so again I don't know who or what was going on I mean, there's nothing on this table. This is wood. And pretty much everything that can be sanded out, I have sanded out. 
Like I say, here's another. This is one, two. I rotated the spar a little bit, so there's going to be new ones. But uh, hopefully this is salvageable. I mean, if it's not, it's going to suck. But if I can't salvage it, at least I'll have material for the wing extension. I mean, if I cut here and go out, you know, this would make a good four or five foot wing tip extension, which is kind of like an approved mod that they allow. So I think the, the other spar, which is, you know, um, I'm pretty sure it's also going to have some, some similar type marks on it. So we'll see. Hopefully I don't have to buy new spars, but you never know what you're going to find until you start looking. And unfortunately, this is some of the stuff that I'm finding. So I assume that's it for now. One spar down. I'm going to finish the other spar tomorrow. Um, I work on them about an hour or two each time. So from, I'm going to say from complete wing to this state here, bare spar, I probably have about eight hours. I mean, I'm slow. I don't have my proper tools. This isn't my, this isn't my original garage. Um, nickel and diamond tools as I go because we're renting. Um, but, uh, yeah, this would definitely be within a day's work. If you were to just sit down and start in the morning and finish it the evening, it's just, it's not a lot of work. It's just, you know, life happens. So this is right spar. That's left spar. We'll swap them out and start it all again tomorrow. I'm going to try to bang the last, the last one out tomorrow just to see what it's like. And then, uh, like I said, hopefully the, uh, hopefully the uh, email that I send will have good news regarding if this spar is going to be usable or not.